Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things cryptid related, unknown, paranormal. I'm your host, Parker, and welcome back to another CryptoCast footage review. Well, we're going to be taking a look at some famous cryptid footage and pictures and seeing if they're real or not. So, I got a really cool one to show you. This one is of the famous Derrida Roadkill. Now, let me get that picture up for you guys, and I will explain what the Derrida Roadkill actually is. Because this is a really cool case. So the Dorita Roadkill, there was this lady named Barbara Mullen. She was driving down um, Highway 12 in Louisiana when she came across this on the side of the road. Now, at first glance, it looks like a dog or a bear of some sort. Um, the Wildlife, um, the Wildlife Foundation of Louisiana, I'm, or the whatever they're called, the wild, the people who manage like the wildlife in Louisiana. They came out, took a look at this, and they determined it was actually a Pomeranian. The only problem with this theory, though, is that the Derrida Roadkill, it wasn't the size of Pomeranian. Pomeranians are small dogs. This thing was the size of a St. Bernard, which is massive. If you guys ever seen the movies with, Be like, Beethoven, um, a Pomeranian's probably about, like, the size of a Chihuahua, the um, St. Bernard, it's just this massive, massive dog. And this is not a Pomeranian. I've never seen a Pomeranian like this dark brown before. I've only seen kind of like yellow and kind of blackish. I've never seen this color of them. And the face does not even look like a Pomeranian to me. Um, some people suggested, oh, maybe it could be the skunk ape. Skunk apes have been really only known to fa be found in Florida. Maybe there is a population in Louisiana. But I don't think this is one. Um, it could, some people are like, it could be the Chupacabra, which is a very, very good theory as well. Um, or it could even be something called a Shug Monkey, uh, but I don't know if they're found that far down south. So what this is, we don't even know. Could be like a deformed kind of dog, a deformed bear cub that's decomposing. We don't know what this is. And the Wildlife Foundation in Louisiana, they never got back to anybody about what this was. No DNA samples, no tests or anything. So what this is still remains a mystery. All that remains of the Derrida Roadkill is this photograph. We still don't know what it is, so it's inconclusive about what this truly is. And what it looks like to me it looks like some kind of like unknown species of animal, honestly. Or an animal in the very kind of like late stages of decomposition that's kind of bloated and um, losing its fur and all that. So we really don't know what this is. Like I said, this is the only thing that remains of the Derrida Roadkill. Everything else has been gone and no DNA evidence came back as far as we know. So we don't know what this creature is. So I do believe this is a real picture though, because really nobody takes pictures of Roadkill just for fun. I mean, you see the people that like see the dead deer on the side of the road, they put the balloon on their arm that says, get well soon. Um, but this isn't one of those cases. This is just something bizarre. Nobody goes in the middle of the street like, oh, cool, a dead raccoon. Let me take some pictures of that. So this is definitely a real, a real photograph, though. But whatever the creature is in the photograph right now, that is what we don't know. That is a mystery. So if you guys have a theory about what the Derrida Roadkill could be, please let me know in the comments section below. Um, and if you guys think it's real, let me know. If you guys think it's a fake, let me know. Many people believe it's a hoax since it was determined unconclusive. I really, it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. Um, effects, for, effects for movies and stuff really weren't that great in the 90s. Well, I mean, we have Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park was a masterpiece. But, um, but effects like this, there's nothing really that this great. This looks so real. I don't think it's effects. I do believe it's a real creature. But I want to hear what you guys have to say below. So if you guys like this video, be sure that like button. You can dislike it if you dislike it. I heard if you dislike this video, the zombie of the Derrida Roadkill will come into your room at night and just kind of sit in the corner, stare at you, and sing, um, I don't, what, what's an annoying song? It's going to sing Easy Street. If you don't know that song, it's like, we're going to Easy Street, and the world is sweet, and life is but a treat. You get the idea. Just on loop for 24 hours. No, actually, no, it's going to sing What's New Pussycat. If you don't want the Derrida Roadkill to pop into your bedroom at night and sing What's New Pussycat 
on loop for 10 hours. The only way to ward him off is to hit that like button. Also, guys, if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Crypto Crew today. You can always unsubscribe later if you choose to. It's totally fine, but I really always do appreciate every subscriber matters to me. We're like a big growing family on here, and I think it's really awesome that you guys are liking the content so far. Check out all my links to my social media in the description below. We got a lot of cool things for you guys to check out. We got a ghost server. We got a cryptid server. Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook. Check out all of those below, guys. And I got a Tumblr where I post cryptids every day. But currently for the month of October, I'm posting a spooky fact every single day. So if you guys want to check that out, check out those links in the description below. So that being said, guys, I will see you Wednesday for a cryptid ratings. Sorry I didn't get to it last week. Last week was just pretty hectic for me. I was pretty stressed out, um, pretty tired, and I just needed a, I just needed a mental health day. So thank you guys so much for checking this video out. Um, and I will see you guys next time on on Wednesday, actually, for Cryptid Ratings. You've been watching CryptoCast, guys. I've been your host, Parker. Stay spooky, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Bye.